coming back to school with me We could have done it all so easily Hi, my name is Craig Thompson Wood. I'm the board game teacher. Thanks for coming back to the City of Zombies Times Square Math Challenge. Today is going to be day seven of the challenge. And let's have a look at what some of the students had got. Uh, so we have here um, 10 squared is 100, 2 squared is 4, 4 plus 1 is 5. Oh, I see what he's doing. Okay. So he got two zombies with this one. So he got the 10 squared is 100, then 2 squared is 4, 4 times 5, 4 plus 1 is 5, 4 times 5 is 20. So with that one, he's able to get two zombies at the same time. So you see how this kind of thing can be done, and that's an important one to remember for um, for the future when we start playing the full game. Uh, for the for the 56, we had a suggestion of 4 squared is 16. 16 plus 10 is 26. 26 plus 1 is 27. And then 27 times 2 is 54. Let's see. One student has suggested 4 times 1 is 4. Times 2 is 8. And then 8 squared is 64. Minus 10 is 54. That was good. Um, then for 20, 4 plus 1 is 5, times 2 is 10, and then plus 10 is 20. And then for another one for the 100 was 10 squared is 100, so then you have 2 squared is 4, 4 minus 4 is 0, so that just cancels each other, and then times 1 equals um, 100. So lots of different ways to do that. Um, now actually we had one of our students say a way that she was able to get uh, this one. So we had one, 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 and nine. For the 24, what she suggested was one plus one is two, two squared is four, nine minus four is five. Now because that's a whole new operation, she squared that result. And I'll allow that because you just can't keep squaring indefinitely. But now that she's done a different operation, so four, nine minus four is five, and then uh, it's 5 squared, now it's 25, minus the 1 is 24. So interesting. Like I said, sometimes there's different ways, and as you play more and more of this, sometimes uh, even the young'uns will surprise you. All right, so let's take it to the next round and see what we've got. Whoops. We have a flying zombie. Here we have 60. We have 18. We have 28. And the dice say two, two, four, five. Two, two, four, five. There we go. Yeah, it didn't take me too long to figure out how I could get all three zombies with these dice. Uh, can I get more than one with one? No. No, I'm going to need all four dice to get any one of the zombies that I'm seeing off the top of my head here. But uh, again, maybe somebody can prove me wrong and uh, love to hear what your thoughts are. So please, as always, leave a message in the comment section below. Tell me how you got it. Or my students, you can leave it on Google Classroom. But I look forward to hearing your answers. Until next time, I'm Craig Thompson with the Board Game Teacher saying thanks for coming to the classroom and happy hunting. Are you coming back to school with me? We could have done it all.